So this is the default setting that has been available from firmware 2.0, which is the animal detection. And when this um, doesn't detect anything, it will default to multi-error, which is the 225 point grid, which means the camera can pretty much focus on whatever it likes when it's not detecting a bird. You will see in the classic behavior, the camera has got two boxes. One is the white box and the other one is the yellow box. The yellow box is the one which, if you press half shutter, is the one where the camera will focus. The white box is simply means yes, detected subject, but it's decided that this is not the subject that it wants to focus on. Now the situation that we have here is that we got four birds here, now two, and perhaps we actually don't want to focus on the bird that the camera is choosing but we want to focus on another bird or we want just to make the choice to the camera a bit easier see here is jumping from one or another and the result is that maybe if we take some photos some of those will not be focused so the new option that is available is here the menu and it's called one area human and animal detect it allows you to select the size of the area and the position on the frame example here so that you know that the camera will detect the subject only in the specific area that you have now restricted to so you can see now this bird has got a yellow box which means if I then press it will become a green box and the camera will be ready to focus let me just adjust slightly the exposure because it's getting a bit bright so if another bird had to come into the frame, uh, anywhere else in the frame that outside the area, the camera will not detect that. And if it doesn't detect anything, uh, for example, we put it here, where there is no bird, the camera will still focus on that area, which will allow for a reasonable focus accuracy, even if the detection fails. Okay, so this is the setting previously available with firmware 2.0, which is animal recognition across the whole frame. We got two birds here in the frame. One is clearly visible, the other one is behind the feeder or by side, and the camera is choosing the house parrot that is clearly uh, identifiable as a bird. Uh, however, the, at the moment in which that starling is in a different position or more birds enter the frame, the camera may start choosing different subjects, and therefore, if we wanted to focus on this parrot, um, we may have problems. So let's see what's happened. I got another starling is entering the frame in a different position. Oh, it's been rejected by the, the one on the feeder. And it's trying again. And now the yellow box is around the starling and not anymore on the house parrot. So now the camera is deciding to focus on the left. By changing the single area, we can then change the f subject detection area to those two feeders on the right. Once we confirm, we can see now the yellow box is only on the sparrow. So if the sparrow was our intended subject with the new setting, we can successfully select it. So this setting allows to focus on a specific area of the frame. For example, in this case, I wanted to focus on this starling and then record his feeding behaviors and his acrobatics. Um, so how quickly is the camera uh, able to detect a subject. From what I've seen and looking at the frame count on the screen, it takes around 100 to 200 milliseconds. So uh, around 20 frames for um, the camera to detect the subjects once it's entered the frame and it's taken a reasonably recognizable shape. So the performance all in all is pretty outstanding.